Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. Today, I find myself at Lake Somerville State Park, Nails Creek Unit. Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I would appreciate you considering clicking on the subscribe button. Hey, I'm wandering around Texas, visiting all of the Texas state parks where I can take my motor home and exploring and sharing those with you. And today I find myself at Lake Somerville State Park, Nails Creek Unit. This is on the south side of Lake Somerville. I have Little Red, the high speed mobility device. I have the GoPro Hero 9 Max Lens Mod, and best of all, I have you. So let's, let's seat that camera and get going. Camera seated, let's get going on another Texas State Park virtual tour. Cue the music. So I'm spending six days camping on Lake Somerville. I'm set up right now. I'm camping at the Birch Creek unit of Somerville State Park. That's on the north side. And that certainly seems to be the more popular seems to be the more more populated part of the Texas State Park here at Lake Somerville. A Lake Somerville State Park and Trailway is most notable notive well it's what what it's known for is the very extensive trail network that is equestrian friendly. So as you can see in this loop these are all of your primitive equestrian sites. And they even have a paddock right here in the middle of the turnaround. I don't know how many miles of trails, equestrian friendly trails they have. They got a lot of trails out here in this state in Lake Somerville State Park and many of them are equestrian friendly. Now this is the trailhead for the Somerville Trailway. Now I had a park ranger, state park law officer tell me yesterday that there are very few ADA friendly trails in Lake Somerville State Park. Get your angle better on the camera. All right. We'll cruise through equestrian loop number two. Now this is what I, if I was, if I was into the equestrian camping scene, this is the kind of campsite up oh, I would want. Hold on, got to make some adjustments to the camera. These very vibrating very, roads are very rough. There we go. So these, all of these equestrian sites have water and power in addition to paddocks right at the campsite. Now this is actually the prettiest equestrian 
all it, oh, <laughs> trying to figure out the best way to say this uh, of all of the equestrian campsites that and campgrounds that I have toured I've only seen a couple that had electric and water uh, and the other one was up at Ray Roberts Lake State Park it was newer but it wasn't as nearly as pretty as this one Really, it's, it's not pleasant having a bug go down your throat at 20 miles an hour. So here is the family friendly fishing pond. It's actually ADA friendly as well. Now I was rather surprised. And you'll see why I was rather surprised. I was surprised when I got here. I was kind of driving through, scouting things out. And I encountered this barrier. What is up with this barrier? They've got the camping loop. The, the non-equestrian loop is closed off. That's all right, they've been driving through here in the gator, so I know Little Red can make it. I mean, this beautiful campsite, camp, camping loop, is closed. You know what? And the rest, I mean, it's been closed for a while. There's no electric meter, none, no table. And there's, I mean, the lake is right there. How, how, check, see, there's the lake. That would be such a, this would be such a great place to camp. I don't know, maybe there's just not enough demand. This park does not seem very, or this side of Lake Somerville State Park does not seem too very busy at all. All right, follow the gator trail. Ooh, we're not going there. That's full of water. There we go. All right. A couple more things to see. Hopefully we'll encounter some wildlife since it's not very crowded. Now that, that road to the right there, that's back where we were on the equestrian loop. They're certainly doing some kind of construction here. Beautiful day use areas, two, two beautiful day use areas. Oh wait, we already did this one. Whoa! We've already traveled this road. Forgot! We are going to be turning right, just not right here. We're going to go right here. The Rocky Point Picnic Area. They don't like horses down here.
beautiful view of the lake right there. Lots of pretty blue bonnets this time of year. Supposed to have weather coming in tonight. Of course, since I'm on a week-long camping trip, New Darby's camping, there's gonna be some rain. Never fail. If there's a drought and you want rain, invite New Darby to go camping with you. One more point of interest at the Nails Creek unit of Lake Somerville State Park. And it's another day use area. Speed bump. and a boat ramp. We must not forget our boat ramp. And there's the little white dude RV.com truck. Hey, I know that dude. It's a pretty steep boat ramp and it's kind of muddy at the bottom. I guess it's pretty shallow there. Looking at that mud. There is a meeting hall for your family reunions. It's funny, they have a, a handicapped parking spot, but there's no ramp to make that building accessible. And I presume that this is a park host site. I don't know, but it's like full connections right here by the restroom. And there we have it. The Nails Creek unit of Lake Somerville State Park. Hey, I appreciate you riding along with me. If you're still with me at this point, I am truly honored and grateful. If this is your first visit, please consider subscribing and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am I'm so very deeply honored. And for my patrons, you guys rock. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>